Just like slice tips from retired Ron at the local public court, you didn't ask for it, but it happens anyway. Here are 10 more tennis players you will meet. Number 10, the double specialist. This player possesses an exceptional tennis IQ. They have a profound understanding of court positioning, angles, shot selection, and marine grade tactical awareness with the ability to turn defensive situations into offensive opportunities. But perhaps their most sought after skill is anticipation. It's almost like they have the force and can read your mind. Set your feelings, you know it to be true. No! Often referred to as a doubles specialist, but how is it that they're also so good at singles? Number nine, the shanker. This player purchased the whole racket, so might as well use the whole racket. Top of the frame, inside handle, even on the handle. Every shank is impressive, whether or not it goes in. But the ones that do go in have an extremely high percentage of being a winner. It's either a Formula One speed level spin with an uncontrollable bounce, or a shank lob right on the baseline. They didn't mean to do it, but they'll play it off like they've been practicing that shot for months. Thank you very much. Number 8. The Prodigy. You've played tennis for 15 years, this kid's been alive for 5 minutes, and already sweeps the court with you. Younger than your racket, barely taller than the net, they can slice better than you, serve better than you, grunt better than you, can I get your best tennis grunt? <laughs> and we'll do it all before bedtime. Freakishly talented, off the charts athletic, Face it, you've got no chance, but oh how you try. Beating the Prodigy might as well be your Wimbledon, because on the small chance they make it to the pros, you'll always be able to say, I used to beat that kid. Number seven, the Minimalist. This player brings only what they need to the match. No bag, no fancy warm-up kit, not even a water jug. Just two rackets, a well-worn pair of shoes, and a fresh can of whoop-ass. <laughs> A seasoned veteran of the game, they've seen some things. With no interest in fashion or the latest and greatest racket tech, in fact, they'll beat you down wearing 2011 barricades with the early 2000s head liquid metal and turner grip more chalky than John McEnroe's 1981 Wimbledon outburst. Shock flew up! Say your prayers. You're likely about to eat a carb-loaded breakfast. On to number six, the FBI. First ball in. Ready to go right out of the car. This player has no time for a warm up. Ain't nobody got time for that. They've got three kids and a spouse to get back to, so let's play, baby, let's play. You can be sure they'll rock at seven first serves right off the bat, looking for an easy ace. They always look like they're one lunge away from a pulled hammy, but somehow it's always you that gets injured. Number five, the socializer. This player just wants to hang. They'll hit and talk and talk and hit, but they can't do both at the same time. So they'll stop a rally and slow walk to the net telling you all about their weekend plans and you can't be a jerk so you meander up there too, lean on the net, twirl your racket like it's a color guard routine, put on your best I'm interested face, and when you're ready to hit again you start bouncing a ball and slowly walk backwards toward the baseline hoping they'll get the hint. Please, please, please. Which they don't. So you come to terms with the fact that you're not going to get any meaningful tennis in today, but you will have a friend for life. Number four, the demo doctor. The perfect racket doesn't exist. Hold my beer, says the demoer. This player leaves no racket untried. With a lifetime subscription to TW's demo program, they are forever in search of the holy grail of rackets. Their El Dorado, their Ark of the Covenant, their Golden Fleece, their you can pick your nose, you can pick your racket, but they've no idea what racket to pick. Number three, the borrower. I forgot to bring balls. Do you have a can? My grip is thrashed. Can I borrow an overgrip? This was my only racket. Can I borrow one of yours? Man, I just got new strings. Oh, that's cool. I never hit the sweet spot anyway. The borrower is that one friend in the hitting group that, uh, it's that one friend in the hitting group. For as big of a bag as they carry, it's a mystery how there's no replacement gear in there. Dampeners, balls, strings, rackets, no request is off limits. I'm gonna need to borrow your soul real quick, kid. Is that all right? Okay. Number two, the stringer. The stringer is the only player in your hitting group with a stringing machine. But hey, you get a discount on stringing and they get to feel like Oprah. <laughs> string job, string job. <laughs> String job. It's a win-win for everyone, right? I mean, why wouldn't the stringer love stringing three of your 18 by 20 rackets with Gamma Rough on the mains and Pro Hurricane on the crosses? Often only thought about when something is broken, the lowly stringer is the most underrated player you know. Hot take. There should be a clause in every player's will for the stringer in their life. They've done more for you than you'll ever know.
And they've also misweaved plenty of crosses and never told you. Number one, the pusher, also known as the counterpuncher, also known as the bane of my tennis existence. The pusher is the king of consistency, the prince of perseverance, the duke of doo-doo, I mean defense. They'll retrieve every ball and return it with SEAL Team sniper levels of accuracy. But more than just beat you down on the court, they'll beat you down mentally, driving you to the brink of insanity, only to leave you remembering that match for decades to come. Don't ask me how I know. The pusher has destroyed more opponents than John Wick, has more patience than Dumbledore, and will discover your weaknesses quicker than Sherlock Holmes. Their strokes aren't pretty, but their shot selection, versatility, and adaptability makes them incredibly frustrating to play. Freaking bastards. Well, that wraps up another list of amateur tennis players. If you know a player on this list, share the video with them. Like and please subscribe. I'm working on more videos like this as well as some other tennis ideas I have. So definitely subscribe to stay notified. They'll be dropping soon. All right, until then, serve big and string often.